Well, Chris Ewing back with us now with the forecast, and we're still looking for that long yeah. stretch, the prolonged yes. stretch of sunshine and nice spring weather. Yeah, unfortunately, that does not appear to be in the cards uh -huh. because we still have the jet stream very near us, and we've got these little disturbances that rotate through every 36 to 48 hours. So you might get a day or two of mm. decent weather, but a prolonged stretch mm. seems unlikely. Let's take a look first of all at our headlines. We're looking at developing showers tomorrow, then better weather for the day on Saturday. Generally dry. That may not be totally sunny, but at least it should be a dry and milder day. There may be a little sun on Sunday morning, but then more showers likely returning later in the day on Sunday. Temperatures across the area uh, running mostly in the 50s, though along the coast the wind has turned on shore down in Rockland and Bar Harbor. They're in the upper 40s. And uh, far northern Maine, where they've got a lot of clouds and had seen some shower activity much of the day there in the uh, upper 40s as well. We've got an onshore breeze along the coast, a northwest wind over the interior, so again, along the coast is where you're finding some of the cooler readings. Weak area of high pressure will bring us quiet conditions tonight as it builds across the area, and then quickly on its heels is another area of low pressure moving eastbound, and that's what will bring the showers in tomorrow. Any isolated showers early this evening will die out with the loss of the heating of the sun, all due to uh, some uh, instability in the atmosphere due to a pool of cool air aloft. Here comes that next batch of showers associated with the storm system. It's going to be a fast-moving storm. That's the good news. So the showers will move in here during the day tomorrow, but should move out tomorrow evening. So a back of, batch of showers working their way eastward with that storm. We start off with just cloudy or partly cloudy skies, but afternoon clouds will uh, thicken up. And and then showers will work their way into western parts of the state around noontime, continue to progress off towards the east as the day wears along. Another little batch of showers moves through late afternoon, early evening. But by later tomorrow night, we're already beginning to see uh, breaks develop in the overcast. And during the day on Saturday, we'll kind of be in and out of the clouds with varying amounts of cloud cover at times some partial sun, at other times a fair amount of cloud cover out there. High temperatures tomorrow will be running in the 50s across the region. Then during the day on Sunday, or Saturday, I should say, we'll have that northwest wind. Look for partly cloudy skies over southern parts of the state and mostly cloudy skies up north with temperatures ranging from the mid-50s north to the low to mid-60s south. Southerly winds, mariners 5 to 15 knots with a few higher gusts. Seas will run 2 to 4 feet. For the overnight, partly to mostly cloudy skies, not far from 40 degrees by dawn. Thickening clouds tomorrow morning with uh, showers developing from west to east in the 50s. We head into the day on Saturday. Varying amounts of clouds and sunshine, low to mid 60s, some upper 50s up north. Showers return later Sunday and then milder weather on Monday, but still some scattered showers along the coastline. We're only low 50s tomorrow, low 60s on Sunday. Showers uh, return later Sunday and continue into the day on Monday. John Morgan.